Hello everyone, I'm Gerbils for Life. So, we're doing a European country's size comparison, as you probably already knew from the title. And so, you remember my uh, state comparison video, possibly. I was working on another video about maybe two or three weeks ago that um, mentioned how the video had 120 views, and now it has 245. So, it's kind of blown up recently. I'm not exactly sure why. It wasn't that successful, and it even came out, so... I really kind of am baffled why this has so many views. Maybe it's just getting into the YouTube algorithm or something. I don't know. It's not even one of my newer videos. But anyway, yeah, thanks for that. So we're going to do a part two because I'm a total sellout. We're going to start here with little old Vatican City. So Vatican City, you probably have heard of it. It's pretty small. You know, Pope's place. Uh, it's about 0.44 uh, square kilometers. It's the smallest country in the world by far. And the smallest country in Europe. So here we move on to the second smallest country in Europe, which is probably one of the bigger stretches we're going to have on here. And so, yeah, I mean, once again, thank you for all those views on the uh, state size comparison. But now we move on to the second smallest country in Europe, which is Monaco. Yeah, they're pretty close to size. This one's about 2.02 .02 square kilometers. It's the smallest country in Europe and the world with the coastline. It's actually uh, the second smallest country in the world and the second smallest in Europe. Europe is the king of small countries, as we will see. Our next one right here is little old San Marino, which is also inside Italy. Same thing as Vatican City. And then here's little Liechtenstein, which you can actually rent for $70,000 a night. Now that's editing. Okay, so anyway, my editor thing, I'm still trying to get it to work. You may have, I've mentioned it in a couple of videos now. But anyway, this is a little Liechtenstein, about 38,000 people. And I'm not exactly sure what it's shaped like, but I'm not going to make any weird jokes. So, next up we have Malta, which is about 316 square kilometers. Already the fifth smallest country, and it's a pretty far cry from the Vatican already. But now we move on to the sixth smallest country, which is Andorra. Now... These are all pretty much the same. This one's uh, actually between France and Spain. So now we move on to a slightly larger group, and the first of that is Luxembourg, which is kind of in its own realm. It's way too big for any of these countries. And actually, while well, you may remember, um, during the state comparison, I grouped them into size groups. That was our smaller size group, and here go Vatican City really is a size group of its own. So is Liechtenstein, because our next biggest is about five times its size. This is uh, Kosovo which is only partially recognized as a country, but more than 50%, so we're just going to call it that for simplicity's sake. Anyway, moving on is slightly larger Montenegro, which is shaped pretty much the same, and they're both pretty much in the same area, so, you know, food for thought. But anyway, here we have some sort of mini-Russia thing. This is actually Slovenia, 20,000 kilometers squared. It's about double the size of Kosovo. It doesn't look it, but it is. Anyway, moving on a little bit, here we have Macedonia. So, we most of these countries you've probably never heard of. I mean, some of these I would not be able to list if I were to list European countries, um, although I am kind of a nerd on this sort of thing. But anyway, we actually have to scroll out to fit in Albania here with its odd double bird flag thing. And then we get a country that most of us have heard of, which is Belgium here. And, well, now we're starting to get into a new size group. Now we hit... Moldova, and here's the first truly famous one. We've got the Netherlands. Moving on, here's Switzerland, another one you've probably heard of. 41,000 square kilometers. We're starting to get a little larger and more mountainous here as we reach Central Europe. Here's Denmark, which when you look at outside of a map, it's kind of oddly shaped. In fact, you could almost say you see a face here with a nose and a mouth, but that's neither here nor there. And there's Estonia. And actually, I've never seen the flag of Estonia before, but it's quite nice looking. <laughs> but anyway, moving on. Here's Serbia. Sorry, not Serbia. Um, Slovakia. <laughs> Excuse me. And so, uh, while we pass Bosnia and Herzegovina, which is one country, well, you mentioned that while there were 50 states, there are 49 European countries, so it worked out pretty well. Now we're moving past Croatia here, and we're starting to get into a slightly different group of countries. It starts to get longer. That was a pretty big group right there. So now we move on to Latvia, which is 
one of the more northerly countries. But anyway, here we hit Lithuania, 65,000 square kilometers, which means we're hundreds of thousands of times larger than Vatican City already. And here's one, Ireland, which is also strangely shaped when you don't put it on a map. I mean, you could see a lot of things in that. But anyway, moving on, we have Serbia at 88,000 square kilometers. And you may notice Portugal islands up here, but we're moving on to the Czech Republic. The, the Czech Republic is actually how it's pronounced. Then we have Austria. And then we have Portugal, which we actually have to scroll out for. And so now we're in the next range, which means we have to scroll out again. So now we're passing Hungary and Iceland and Bulgaria and a couple of uh, little known countries. Here's Greece, 130,000 square kilometers. We're moving up now because here's Belarus, which is the 200,000 mark. And we're still smaller than Kansas on the state level for representation. Kansas is about 213,000 square kilometers, so probably comparable in size to Belarus. Romania is the first one to break this, and then we hit one of the big countries in the world, and we do have to scroll out a little to fully get this one in. This is the United Kingdom. However, we do have to move up a size group now, because then we hit Italy, and here some goes the uh, rest of the countries, which you've certainly always heard of. This is Poland at 312,000 with its detailed flag. And now we move on to Sweden, Finland, excuse me, which is about 338,000. And up here, this is France. We're going to get to that quite a bit later. This is actually part of uh, French South American territory. Anyway, we're moving up now because here's Germany. And here's ne Netherlands. This is actually not all of the Netherlands. There's also, or sorry, this is Norway. And this is called Svalbard. It's like a uh, free... Uh, autonomous area of Norway. Anyway, moving on, here's the actual Sweden. And here, we're going to get some islands, because here's Spain up here. And this is doing good on a world map. I guess that just gives you a little more perspective, because you can see that Sweden is just slightly larger than New Zealand. Anyway, here's France, which is sort of at an odd angle. Oh, well, that happened. And anyway, <laughs> we reach our largest with Ukraine, although, yeah, that, that's, that's it, folks. Ukraine is actually the largest country in Europe, and I'm not sure where France went, but you saw it was the second largest, and now, oh, there's France. Now that you've seen them all in line, well, you know, there's, there's a pretty decent difference. I'm scrolling in here. Of these 49, we've got Ukraine as the largest, and France, Spain, Switzerland, not Switzerland, excuse me. And down here we've got tiny, tiny, tiny little Vatican City. Thanks for watching. This has been Gerbils for Life, and I hope you enjoyed this video. So, now, now here's the part where I really become a sellout, so I have to tell you to subscribe. And like this video, share it with all your friends, yada, yada, yada. Uh, YouTuber sellout jazz. But, okay. And, uh, yeah, I don't really care about this channel that much right now. And I kind of upload stupid garbage right now. But, uh, you know, maybe eventually I'll care. Probably not, though. So, yeah, goodbye. You'll never see any merch or sponsorships. So, mm. yeah, for the person who watched to the end of this, thank you.